First off, and, and I kind of think the most alarming or positive thing was the, the crowd today. Uh, it was incredible. Um, you know, the, the, the send-off at the Hyatt uh, is something that not many college athletes or coaches get to experience. And, uh, you know, what an unbelievable way to start the tournament. And it's just a credit to our fans that they're that passionate about about what we do. And they really embrace this team, and, and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun to see. And, and it's a credit to the people of Omaha. That, you know, we're the farthest away from St. Louis yet. We have the most people here by a long shot. Um, we, we've got great fans, and uh, we certainly appreciate that. Talk a little bit about the, uh, you know, there's, there's flashes of a lot of intensity from a lot of different players. How much is this playing to get Antoine to his first tournament, and how much is it to just, you know, get everybody to their tournament? Well, I mean, we're, we're playing to win a championship. Our, one of our goals was to win the Valley Championship, and we came up short, and we lost a very good Wichita team. Um, but we've got another opportunity to win a tournament championship. So you only get so many chances. Uh, you're only in this situation so many times as an athlete and as a coach, and you want to try to uh, take advantage of it when it presents. But, uh, when this is over, we'll talk about the NCAA tournament, sure. but not till then. There was a. It, it seemed like Doug had a lot more opportunities from behind the arch in the second half. Was that was that some adjustments that you guys had on the offense? Uh, was, it was maybe some adjustments that they had defensively. Uh, they switched the ball screens early and they got away from it. And they, they they went with Antoine a couple times, and I think Antoine hitting those early shots certainly loosened that up for Doug. And um, I give Doug a lot of credit. He hadn't been shooting well, particularly uh, particularly well as of late from the three point line, and he hit some big ones. For us Coach, you went 0 for 7 at the start. How concerned were you? Uh, you know, I, I don't get too concerned with this group. You know, they're uh, they're a pretty resilient group. They have been all year long, and, and the game is 40 minutes long. And there's going to be a lot of ebbs and flows throughout that game. And, uh, you don't want it to be at the start of the game like that, but uh, we had to fight through it. Uh, unfortunately, we were able to get back in the game. Gregory really came off and gave you a spot. What happened there? I just thought he played with a little bit more intensity. I thought he was a little flat-footed to start the game, wasn't running as hard, moving as quick as he usually does. But uh, when you know when he got it fixed, obviously he was a dominant force on the backboard, scored some big baskets for us, and has always made some great defensive plays. When they pulled within three, your thoughts? Uh, I, I don't think about it. I'm just coaching the game. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get the basketball inbounds, making sure that uh, our spacing is good, and then defensively that we're doing our job. So, um, you know, as a coach, if you panic, your team's going to panic right behind you. So you have to stay calm. Great. After day one, just how do you feel? I'm happy to be on to day two. I mean, I think that's the reality in a tournament like this. Uh, when you're when you're a favorite like we were going into this game, uh, you just want to survive and move on to the next day. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll we'll bring our A game tomorrow. Greg was obviously nursing a little bit of his right leg. Is, is he is he good to go? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I haven't. Uh, I think they they took him to be to be evaluated, and I haven't. Uh, you know, I haven't heard what they what they come up with. Uh, the last